here from Circuit to Ross. Welcome to workout number 21. Uh, today's workout is called Higher or Lower and it's inspired from uh, the game show that was on TV uh, which was uh, Play Your Cards Right. Um, so we've got some cards involved today. Um, so it's going to be a whole body workout. Equipment wise you need, uh, make sure you've got some weights available or some tins, something weighted so you can use through the workout. Um, a nice safe space around you, uh, an exercise mat on the floor or something to, or, or a towel or something like that if you are on a hard floor, um, if you like to do the floor exercises, but they can be adapted, all these exercises so you don't have to go on the floor. Um, some water available and possibly a little bit of wall space or something to lean on because um, we're going to be doing some wall presses or, or press ups today. Right then, so I'll explain more about how the workout's going to work. Let's get warmed up. All right, so just to start with, let's do some side steps. So we're going to do lots of upper body and lower body pulse raises today. And stepping backwards. So we're going to use the cards and it's going to be higher or lower. So if we get a higher card, we're going to do a high intensity exercise. If we get a lower card, then we're going to do a low intensity exercise. Stepping forwards now. So it's up to the, the cards what we do. Right, we're going to step to the side again, but we're going to add the arms in now. So half stars. That's it. And then stepping backwards and a few spotty dogs. So opposite side to opposite leg. Step back for one. Just making sure you're stepping backwards, not forwards. Right, we're going to do some knee raises, opposite hand to opposite leg, get a twist in the upper body as we come across to the opposite knee. So we're just warming up all the muscles, make sure you do warm up before we start the exercise. Get the body ready to get moving, prevents injuries. Mentally it gets us ready for the exercise. Right, let's kick those legs up behind. Warm up the back of your thighs and bicep curls with those arms. That's it. Just flip those heels right up. Right, just stop in there. We're going to do some punches. So just warm up the upper body a little bit more. So hopefully you can feel your heart rate coming up a little bit. A little bit higher. Okay, and just marching. Let's circle those arms, warming up those shoulders, make sure they're nice and loose. And the other way, get that range of movement. Okay, just some frontal raises now. Just out to the front, keep those feet marching. Right now to the sides. Just a shoulder height. Good, a few upright rows, a high elbows, hands to the chin. Right, just a few pullbacks. Two bent pulls and then open the arms straight. Warming up the chest. Just opening those arms up. Right, just bring your hands behind your back and just stretch the chest. Just pull your hands away from you. And now arm across your body, shoulder stretch. Keep marching the feet. And change arms. Okay, right. Upper body nice and stretched off. Okay, we're just going to do a few squats. So we're going to have a nice wide Kind of stance, keep your heels on the floor and you're just going to lower down, keeping your back straight. Use a chair if you need to this. Sit towards the chair and then up. We're just warming up so you don't have to go too low. We're just going through that range of movement. Back straight, looking forwards. 
Okay, right, back into a few kickbacks. Let's go a little bit quicker now if you can. Or add a hop to it. Keep those bicep curls going with the arms. Right, a few more spotty dogs. So a little bit quicker. Jump into it if you can. And a few more half stars or star jumps. And last time, a few more knee raises. A bit higher now. Add a hop to it if you can. Okay, right, let's just do a few leg stretches. So into a calf stretch. Stretch off the back of the, your lower leg, leaning forwards into the stretch. Feel it down the bottom of your lower leg. Okay, change sides. Ease that back heel down into the floor. And that back foot. Okay, right, just give your legs a good shake. Feel free to do any more stretches you want to do, but we're going to get going today. Right then, so today's workout, like I said, we are going to be using cards. I have the cards here. There's 52 in the pack. There's also two jokers that are in there. The two jokers, if we come across them, the two jokers are planks, okay? So when we see, a, if we see a joker, we may not. So it's 52 cards because we probably won't go through them all. If we do have a joker, then we're gonna do a plank. All right, so I'm gonna give them a shuffle. All right, there's 52 there with two jokers. All right, so I'm going to give them a shuffle a minute ago, but just to make sure you don't think I've just put them in a certain order. They're all shuffled up. One last time, not very good at shuffling, but you get the principle. I'm not cheating. Right, you may not be able to see the cards when I put them up, but I will put them up towards the camera. If you've got a big screen, you may be able to see it. Right then, so we've got uh, 50 seconds on each exercise. We're going to do 16 times of picking a card. If it's a higher than the last card that we had, Okay, we do a higher intensity exercise, so one that's going to raise the heart rate, get us going. Um, if it's a lower intensity, get your feet moving. If um, it's a lower intensity exercise, it's going to be more of a strength exercise. Um, and then, so it may be higher, 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 maybe lower, 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 we don't know. It's all to do with the cards today. Right then, um, and you've got the joker there, if it comes up, it's going to be a plank. Right then, so I'm going to pick the first card. That will be our, our starting kind of card. Okay, which is a, a king, if you can see that, so a king, so I'm going to put that down here. Alright, and I'm going to pick the first card for us, and it's an eight, so it's lower than the king. I'm going to put 50 seconds on the timer. Okay, the lower intensity one, it's picking up your weights. And we're going to start with a lower intensity one, and we're going to do our bicep curl. So off we go. So standing tall, working the front of your arms, bringing those arms up towards your shoulders, standing tall, think about your posture, so, this, so it's a number eight, so we're going to go off the number eight next, how I think, do you think it's going to be higher or lower, you can play a game, play a little game by yourself, whatever it is, we're either going to be doing, if it's higher, we're going to be doing mountain climbers, if it's lower, we're going to be doing trunk twist. Right, three, two, one. Okay, next card, picking it up. It is a king, so it's higher intensity. So let's put those weights down. Okay, and we're doing mountain climbers. Okay, so hands against the wall. Let's pump those knees in. Or we can do it on the floor. Hands underneath your shoulders. Pump the knees in towards your tummy. Okay, off we go. You can do it on an incline as well. Right, so this is a pulse raiser, it's the high intensity. Let's go. So we're going off the king next. So we would expect it to be lower. Ace is high in this game. Last push. Right, so an ace is lower. Uh, sorry, higher. Ace is higher. What have we got? We've got a jack. So that's lower than the king, so we're going to do a lower intensity one. Okay, picking up your weights. We're going to do trunk twist. So 
yeah, so if we get an ace, that's high. Right, so we're doing a trunk twist, working our oblique muscles here. You can sit on the floor if you want to make it harder. Do your Russian twists. Control that movement. Try not, if you are standing up doing it, try and get your hips forward. So then you're working just the upper body here as you twist. Right, so it's a jack. Higher or lower, what do you think? Is a number four, which is lower. Okay, so we're doing another lower intensity one, which is lunges. So you can hold onto the wall if you need to. All right, we're gonna take a nice big step forward and we're gonna bend that back knee down towards the floor. We can do the same leg or we can change in between. Okay, keep your back straight, bend the back knee down. Both knees are bending. Make sure that front knee isn't going over the front of your toes. Should be in line or behind. Keep it going nice and low. Right, so we've got a number four. Right, let's pick the card. Is a number five, so just higher. Number five. So a higher intensity one is half stars. Off we go. Half stars is our high intensity one. So we do half stars or star jumps. Whichever way for you, get your intensity up. I wonder what we have next. Right, it's another five at the moment. It could be another higher one. Right, a little bit quicker, 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Okay, well done. Right, next one. Oh, it's a joker. I'm not lying to you, it's a joker card. Right, so we're going to do a plank. Get in your plank position. You can do it against the wall, hands against the wall, or you can do it on the floor. Elbows underneath your shoulders, off we go. Keep it nice and tight. Think about the muscles you're engaging. Go down your body, think, am I engaging, holding that muscle tight? We got a joker. Right, we're nearly there. Keep holding it. Make sure your hips aren't up too high. Lower them down a little bit if you feel like they're high. Oh, not too bad. We've done it. Right then, next one. So the card before that was a five. So we're going to go from the five. And we've got a king, which is higher intensity. So we're doing burpee. So off we go. Burpees. So stepping back twice. And then jumping up or stretching up. You can't jump, just stretch up. You can do burpees on the floor. So put your hands down, jump back, jump back in, stand and stretch. Keep going. 10 seconds to go. Last five. Right, let's pick that card. So a king was last, or just lower. It's a queen. Picking up your weights. We're doing tricep kickbacks. So we're leaning forwards. Let's work at the back of your arms. Whew. Let your heart rate's up. Mine is. After those burpees. Elbows tucked in to your ribs. Just move in that last bit of your arm to engage your tricep muscle on the back of your arm. Right, so last card was a queen. Do we think higher or lower? Right, probably hoping a lower. Oh, no, it's a higher. It's an ace. It's the highest one. So next high intensity one is punch it. You can pick up your dumbbells if you want to make this harder. One foot in front of the other, let's punch. 
stretching out, working those arms but also twisting across your body, let's go, so it's got to be a lower intensity one next because we're up the top on the ace, right let's change that leading leg, let's go a little bit quicker, five, four, three, two, one, okay, brilliant, right, so we're going to go, next one is an eight, so it's lower, so it has to be lower, okay, next one is calf raises, so we can hold onto the wall, we can go up onto our toes, and down, if you want to make it harder, put one foot in front of the other, do one leg at a time, still go all the way up onto your toes, pushing up, Well done. So a lower intensity. So we've got number eight. What do you think? What's your guess? Is it going to be higher or lower? I think it's going to be higher, but I don't know. Right, five seconds to go. Right, let's have a look. Let's see what it is. It's a number three. Number three, which is a lower intensity one. We're going to pick up our weights. We're doing front and side arm raises. So it's a lower intensity. We're gonna do 16 exercises in total, then we're gonna have a rest. This is the 11th one, so we're doing well. So controlled movements, just the shoulder height. If you start moving your body as you're doing these exercises to get there, so if you're doing this kind of movement to get your arms up, then those weights are a little bit too heavy. Drop them down, do it just with your, with your arms. If you want to keep your shoulders back, let's just use those shoulders, muscles to pull the weight up, not swinging into it. Right, okay, so it was number three last time. What do you think, higher or lower? You probably thought higher and you're right, it's queen. It's a queen, so the higher intensity one is jogging on the spot. Or if you've got room to run around or, jog, or walk around, go and do that. Come back though. So we're jogging. Pulse raiser, higher intensity one. So we've got a queen. Higher or lower up on that? Keep going. Right, we've got 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Right, it is a number six, which is lower. So we are on side bends this time. So picking up your weights, and we're going to lean to the side, standing tall, working your oblique muscles down the side of your body. If you're more advanced, this exercise you lie on the floor, bend your knees up, and we touch the back of our heels. So we're twisting. Whichever way, keep going. So all good exercises, you always do it at your kind of a ability and your level, fitness level. If you find these getting easier, try the more harder exercises. Right, let's change that card. So six for the last one, higher or lower, what do you think? It's a queen, so it's higher, queen. Okay, so next one is step backs into a knee raise. Okay, so off we go. So step back, pull the knee in. Step back, shift your weight forward, bring the knee up like a knee raise. So we're leaning, leaning kind of back and then we're leaning forward. You can keep changing legs. This is our higher intensity one. What do we have? A queen. What do we think? A queen. Take your guess. Higher or lower? I'm going to change legs now and again. Right, five seconds to go. Right, it is 10. 10, which is a lower intensity one, which is bent over row. So pick it up your weights. Leaning over. 
Bring your elbows back. So we're working our upper back muscles. So making sure you're not standing up straight. Bend over, bend those knees slightly. Bring those elbows back. Elbows pointing back behind you. Okay, keep it going. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Okay, right, so it was a 10. Higher or lower, what do you think? It's a number nine. Nine. Okay, so that's a lower intensity one, which is squats. So we're back onto another lower intensity one, squats. Okay, so off we go. So wide stance. Sit back into it. You put your arms out straight or you put your hands across your chest. Making sure we're not looking down, we're looking forwards or slightly upwards. Think about using those muscles, glute muscles as you come up, front of your thighs as we go down. Right, nice and low. 10 seconds to go. So it was a nine. It's a nine of spades. What do we think? Higher or lower? It's going to be the last one. Right, it's a number 10. So it is a higher one. Just to finish off, number of breast. Okay, so it's spotty dogs. Spotty dogs. Off we go. I think I did an extra one. I think this is the 17th one. But we'll do this one and then we'll have a rest. So this is the higher intensity one. 20 seconds to go. Can jump into it if you've done this before. A little bit of energy left. Jump into it. Right, five seconds to go. Three, two, one. Okay, right, have a drink to break. Have a rest. Right, so the last card was the ten. Ten of hearts. We're going to go off that one. And we're going to do round two. Whew. It's good, this one. It's not been too bad. We've kind of got mostly upper and then uh, mostly higher and then lower, but a couple of times we've had to repeat it. Right, so have some water. Keep those feet moving. We're going to go into round two. Less time on each exercise. Right, let's do this. Okay, so it's 10 last time. What do you think? Higher or lower than 10? It's a number three, which is lower. Okay, so we're going to start with the wall press. Okay, or press up. So we're doing 40 seconds on each one this time. Okay, so get in your position. Off we go. Okay, so leaning in towards the wall, bring your chest towards the wall. Or do it on an incline or on the floor, whichever way suits you or challenges you. If you find it easy on the wall, try the floor ones, try it on an incline. So we're working our chest muscle here and as you're doing it, have a think. The last one was a number three, higher or lower. I know what you're going to think. Right then. Oh, it's not what we thought. It's a number two. So it's another lower intensity one. Number two. So we are back to, we've gone through all the exercises I had, so we're going to go through them again. So we're going to do bicep curls. All right, so back to that lower intensity one. We all thought that was going to be higher, didn't we? So we're on a number two, so it's got to be a higher intensity next time. We've got one more joker in there, I wonder if we'll get it today. Right, weights down. Take that card. Oh, can you believe it? It is a joker. We're going to do the plank. Just 
talking about it, and there it is. Right, in your plank position, let's hold this. It's only 40 seconds. Hold all those muscles tight. Remember to keep breathing through it. Engage your core muscles. Push those heels away from you. Right, you're nearly there. Keep going. Five seconds. Brilliant. Right then. So we're going back from the number two. And it's a number six. So yeah, it definitely had to be higher now. I have got the joker out the way. So what have we done? We're going to do some side jumps. So side steps or jumps or two feet together, jump in. Off we go. Keep it going. Pulse raiser, higher intensity. Keep it going. So lots of variety today. Right, five seconds. Right, higher or lower than a six? What do you think? It's a number five. It's lower. I wouldn't have thought that. Right, lower. So we're doing twists. Trunk twists. Picking up your weights. Let's twist to the sides. Hips facing forward. Do it on the floor. Remember, Russian twists. Always do the harder version for you. This may be the harder version for you, so you do this one. If it isn't hard, try the floor one. Right, higher and lower than a five. It's a jack. A jack. So it's higher. We're going to do some skipping. The high intensity is skipping. That's it. So jumping up and down. If you find that difficult, problems with your knees, just tap your feet out in front. Just keep following along with me. Do it the way you can for you. Keep it going. 10 seconds to go. So it's a jack. Higher or lower? What do you think? It's a number 10. Only just lower. But it is lower. So we're going to do some lunges. Let's get those legs working. Lunges. So we can step back into it and down, or we can step forwards into it, whichever way. Keep your back straight. Lower that knee gently down. If it's too much for you, just do a little lunge. You don't have to go all the way down, but if you can, lower it down to the floor. Hold onto a wall for you if you're new to this. Put a little bit of weight onto the wall. Right, 10, higher or lower? It's a number two, so right down the bottom, lower intensity. We are on picking up your weights. Triceps, tricep kickbacks. So we're working that muscle on the back of your arm. Right, we've just got 10 seconds to go. Lean slightly forwards. If your back's hurting, put one foot in front of the other. Just change your positioning. Control that movement. Try not to just swing. Right, it's number two. It's got to be higher. Can't be any lower. So it's an ace. So we're right at the top this time. So high intensity. We haven't had too many higher intensity, have we? Right, so where do we get to? Knee raises in the next one. Okay, so high knees, you can add a hop to it if you want to make it harder. So we're on an ace, so it's got to be a lower intensity one next. Right, 10 seconds to go. Right, so it is number eight, eight of hearts. Calf raises is the next one. So lower intensity one, up onto your toes, slowly back down. So if you want to make it harder, just put that other foot behind it and then go up and down onto your toes. 
You could do say five or ten with one leg and then change. If you do a lot of walking then you'll probably find that this version would be better for you. It's a little bit harder. Right, an eight. Higher or lower than an eight? What do you think? Yay, it's a higher one. It's a queen. Okay, so we are back to mountain climbers. So mountain climbers, come that knee in towards, your knees in towards your, your tummy. Get a good pace going for you that gets your heart rate up. Keep going, 10 seconds to go. Right, the next one is a queen. What do you think, higher or lower? It is a lower, it's number seven. Seven, which is picking up your weight. Front and side arm raises. So to the front and then to the side. You've had so many more lower intensity ones today than the higher. But it is warm, it's warm at the moment, hotter, so it's probably better. Still working hard though, working those muscles, building up your muscles, toning up, which is good. Right, seven, higher or lower? Oh, it's another seven. I don't know what to do there. Let's pick another colour. I didn't plan for that. Right, number three. So it's a lower intensity one. We're going to do side bends. So picking up your weights again. Side bends will lie on the floor and touch your heels. So working the sides of your body. Well done. So keeping with me. Just leaning slightly to the side, trying not to lean forward or back when you do it. Right, so number three, higher or lower? It's a number six, so it's higher than the three, which is good. So let's do it higher intensity. So half stars or star jumps. I should have done what I should have done if it's, a, it's the same number. You should have had to repeat the same exercise or something like that. Anyway, it's all new. It's all good. Right, 10 seconds to go. A bit quicker. Right, so number six, higher or lower? What do you think? Oh, so number five, so number lower. Number five, so we're picking up our weights. We're doing bent over row. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. This is exercise number 15. Keep it going. Point those elbows back behind you. Right, we're nearly there. Three, two, one. Okay, we've got one more to go. So it's a number five, higher or lower? It's number seven, so it is higher. Burpees. Off we go, burpees. So we've done two rounds, we're going to have a quick drink after this and then we're going to do one short, very short third round. So keep with me, you can do it, feel better for it afterwards. So we're on number seven, remember on number seven, think about it higher or lower to this. Right then, so have a drink, have a rest. Get some air, open a window, need a bit of air coming in. Right then, so third round is going to be 30 seconds on each one. We're only going to do eight exercises and I'm going to give you a choice as well between two exercises, okay? So, obviously there'll be two choices if it's a higher intensity or if it's lower intensity, I'll give you two choices. Okay, so stick with me. Eight exercises, so it's only going to be four minutes, and then you're done, and then we'll cool down. All finished. 
Right then, so we're on a number seven. Let's do the card first. So a number seven, higher or lower? So it's either going to be higher or lower intensity. And it's an ace. Okay, so it's an ace. The two choices are mountain climbers or half stars. All right, so you choose 30 seconds. Off we go. So it's either either half stars, star jumps, or doing your mountain climbers. All right, so working hard, whichever way you're doing it. And we're on an ace. So it's got to be lower next time. I'll pick the card in a second. Right, 10 seconds to go, a little bit quicker. So the choices for your lower intensity would be bicep curls, okay, or trunk twists. So it is a jack. So it is lower, obviously. So you choose. You can do your bicep curls or you can do your trunk twist. Okay, up to you. And how I think is a jack, is it going to be higher or lower? Right, let's pick that card. So it's a three, so it is lower intensity. Right, your two choices are lunges, I don't know if you'll choose them, or picking up your weights and doing your tricep kickbacks. So your choice, let's work the legs or the arms. Keep going. So it's a three, do we think higher or lower next time? Is a number two. Can you believe that? It's lower. A lot lower today. Right, the next one is you get to choose calf raises or front and side arm raises. So do you want to work your shoulders or your calf muscles? Off you go. So this is exercise number four. We've only got four to go after this. Right, next card. Number two, it was last time, so it's got to be higher. It's a number nine. Okay, so the choices are burpees, okay, or punches. So I hope you're all doing the burpees because you love them. <laughs> so yeah, so you choose burpees or punches as quick as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, right, so it's a number nine. Or do we think it happens to be a number nine again? And I didn't know what to do on that, so I'm not going to make up any rules now. Okay, number eight. Eight is the next one, so it's lower. Reset that because I've been chatting too much. Okay, so lower intensity is side bends or bent over row. Okay, so up to you. Off we go. So we're on a number eight. Do we think it's going to be a higher intensity or a lower intensity? Number eight. Keep it going. Keep it going. Right, it's a number four. Another lower intensity. Number four. So we are going to do squats. Choices are squats or press-ups. Okay, so off you go. So we're at the legs or the arms. Or your chest, or say. Okay. Right, we're going to do one more. Last one. So it's number four, higher or lower? Can't believe it. It's another lower. It's number two. So last strength ones. All right, we are going to do, we've got to go back to you. Dumbbell arm curls, okay, or you can do trunk twists, okay, so 30 seconds, off we go. So why are we working that bicep muscle again? We've had loads of lower ones today. We didn't even get back to those knee raises. Right, this is your last exercise. Four, three, two, one. 
you've done it. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back. You're done. Have some water and then we'll cool down. Hope you enjoyed that. A little bit different. Got away with uh, not having to jump around too much today. Right then, so let's cool down. Let's bring the arm across your body. Turn that off. Let's bring your arm across your body. Shoulder stretch. So we've done lots of strength exercises today, which is, which is good. Keeps your metabolic rate up, which is good. That's what you want when you've got more muscle. Right, change arms. So we're just stretching off the shoulder. We did have the two jokers though today. We did have them. Right, bring your hands behind your back and we'll just stretch the chest. So keep your feet moving. Right, we're just going to do a wide stance. Right, we're going to stretch up, extend above your head, and then you're going to sweep down and then back up and down. Extend. Right then, okay, let's just stretch the legs. So we're going to start with a calf stretch. So we're leaning forwards. Front knee bent, back leg is straight, and we ease that back heel, that back foot down into the floor. Good, keep holding it. We always hold this stretch for a little bit longer in the in the cool down. Hold. So we're changing legs now. And just hold that one. Stay there. Right, let's stretch the hamstring muscle so that's the muscle on the back of your thigh so we put one foot in front of the other make sure your feet aren't too far apart when you do this all right and then sit back into the stretch lift your tailbone up put your hand on your thigh there and you should feel that stretch in that straight leg in the back of the thigh keep holding right change sides same on the other side, sit back, feel the stretch here, down the thigh, if you can, you can put your hand down on the toe as well, just lift your tailbone up, well done, right coming up from there, right let's stretch the front of your thigh, so hold on to the wall, bring the leg up behind, knees close together, Always do this cool down. Good to get into routine of always warming up and cooling down before you do any kind of exercise. Even if you go out for a walk, it's always good to, when you come home, have a little bit of a stretch. And lower it down, change sides. If we don't stretch off after we do exercise, the muscles can get very tight, you can cramp up, you need to lengthen off those muscles. Hold, 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 hold. Right, lower that down. Okay, last one we do is the inner thigh. So wide stance, turn your foot out, leaning over. If you want to do some extra stretches afterwards, some back stretches, maybe some glute stretches, you can follow the other video. Back stretches, whichever, if you need to. And over to the other side. Leaning over. So a nice inner thigh stretch this one. If you're not feeling it in your inner thigh, just go a little bit wider. Excellent. Right, just bring your feet in. Give yourself a clap. Well done. You completed it. Workout number 21. I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed that one. Doing a little bit with the cards. Keeping it uh, varied. Hope you're feeling great. Well done for keeping up with me. And I will see you um, in the next workout, number 22. Keep going, keep the good work up. Bye.